Published in 1921, The Good Soldier's Fetched is a fictional black comedy by Yaroslav. Ha! <laughs> S.E.K. Set in Czechoslovakia during World War I, the story follows the misadventures of feeble-minded Joseph Svechk, as he is drafted into the army and bungles everything he does. Ha! <laughs> S.E.K., a famous anarchist and one of the most celebrated of Czech authors, intended The Good Soldier Svechk to comprise six volumes, but in 1923, he passed away from heart failure after completing only four. The final two volumes were penned by the journalist Karel Vanake. The last time Joseph Svechk was in the army, he was discharged for being feeble-minded. Since then, he has worked as a dog trader, but now that World War I is beginning, the army needs every man it can get. However, no sooner is Svechk drafted than he is already in trouble. After making a politically insensitive remark, Svechk is arrested and sent to prison. Once there, he blames his feeble-mindedness, so he is transferred a madhouse. He is so cheerful and enthusiastic that the staff quickly grows irritated with him. Labeling him a malingerer, they send him back to the army. Svechk arrives for his intake medical exam in a wheelchair, citing a flare-up of his rheumatoid arthritis. Annoyed by this, the doctor declares him fit for duty, nevertheless. Svechk is assigned to the military prison, where Otto Katz, the prison's alcoholic chaplain, takes such a liking to Svechk, he makes him his altar boy. They spend many days drinking and debating religion. Unfortunately for Svechk, Katz wagers his altar boy in a poker game with Lieutenant Luca. When Katz loses, Svechk becomes Luca's assistant, a job that mainly requires him to delicately handle the many problems that arise from Luca's constant womanizing. Though Svechk earnestly tackles each issue, he only succeeds in making them worse, causing immense embarrassment to the lieutenant. One day, Svechk presents his superior with a gift, a pet dog. Unbeknownst to Luca, however, the dog belongs to Colonel Kraus, who is frantic with worry over his missing pet. When Luca takes the dog for a walk, Kraus sees them. In retaliation for taking his dog, Kraus transfers Luca and his battalion to the front lines. On the train to the front lines, Svechk accidentally releases the emergency brake on the train. This earns him a large fine, when he is unable to pay it, he is kicked off the train at the next station. Luca is overjoyed to be rid of Svechk, but the people at the train station who witness his treatment assume that he is yet another war hero being abused by the military. They buy him drinks and pitch in to pay his fine. Eventually, the military police find him and arrest him for being without papers. When they learn the situation, they say he can linger no longer but must proceed to the front lines on foot. Svechk obeys, but he begins walking in the wrong direction. The military police finally catch up with him again much later, arresting him as a deserter. At the interrogation, Svechk gives innocent but confusing replies, and the sergeant asking the questions is convinced that Svechk is actually a highly intelligent spy. The sergeant's supervisors do not agree, however, and Svechk is sent back to his battalion. Aghast to see Svechk return to him, Lieutenant Luca sends him to prison for his unauthorized absence. After only three days, Captain Kraus, who is still angry at Luca who frees Svechk, sending him back to Luca with strict orders that the lieutenant must accept his services. Luca begrudgingly does and sends him off to deliver a letter to his latest lover. Svechk gives the letter to the woman's husband instead. Enraged, the man attacks him, forcing Svechk to fight back to defend himself. Eventually, the police arrive and arrest Svechk. Despite the bad publicity surrounding this event, Luka is appointed the commander of a unit on its way to the front lines in Russia. Svechk accompanies them as a phone operator, but his confusing replies to every communication cause so much havoc with the battle preparations that he is reassigned. His next duty should be easy. He must give everyone a copy of the second volume of a novel. The army has created a code based on the novel, and so each soldier must have a copy to decode messages. However, Svech distributes the novel's first volume instead, because everyone knows that you should always read a book from the beginning. Lieutenant Dub, the most disliked officer in the battalion, believes he has enough evidence against Svech for a court-martial. However, one night, Svechk finds Dub drunk in a brothel, giving him leverage to avoid the court-martial. Luca then instructs Svechk to find the fastest road to the next village. Svechk refuses to use a map, instead, thinking that he will find the fastest way by instinct. 
Svej heads towards the next village on foot but quickly gets lost. He happens upon a pond in which a Russian soldier is bathing. When the soldier sees him, he is so frightened that he runs away still naked. Svej decides to see if the Russian's uniform will fit him, and so he tries it on. Just then, Svej's battalion arrives. Believing him to be an enemy soldier, they arrest him and assign him to railroad repair duty with the rest of the captured Russian soldiers. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.